Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. I am Trex and today I'll show you how to exploit Metasploitable 2, a purposely vulnerable Linux virtual machine used to practice penetration testing and cybersecurity skills. This video is for educational purpose only. Do not test these techniques on a system you don't own or have explicit permission to test it. Let's get started. Okay. So this is my Kali Linux and my what Metasploitable 2 is running on the same network. So I'll just open my terminal and go to the root user. So at first I'll check my IP. So I have here is my IP 192.168.31.227. This is my IP. Okay. Then I'll do net discovery. So what this will do, this will show me the all the devices which are connected to the same network. Okay, this will show me the all the devices which is connected to same network with IPs. Okay, so I'll just do it. Wait for a while. Uh, okay, look at that. So I got it. There are total two three five five devices connected with the same network okay then how we will know which one is my kali linux by which one is my metasploitable to ip so there are two steps we can ping each and every ip and just check that this is my this is this is i think loopback ip okay I do control Z. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Control Z. It will take lots of time. Okay. What if you have lots of IPs? There is five IP. You can do ping, 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 and you will find it. But what if you there is lots of IP, huge number of IP? I, I think around hundred IPs, two hundred IPs. Then you will check each and every by each and every IP by just doing ping command. No. There are simple user. We can see the host name. There there is written virtual VMware INC. So I'm using VMware. My Metasploitable 2 and Kali is running on a VMware. So that's why it's showing me VMware. Okay, that means I think this is my target IP. I'll just copy this and I'll do ping. And I will space the IP. Okay, I'll just space the IP. So it is showing it's showing me the that host is on and communication is going very smoothly so this is a linux operating system how we get how we know that this is a linux operating system by ip look at the ttl ttl is ttl means time to leave so this is 64 that means this is a linux operating system it is one to, if it is 128 then it will be windows operating system it, it is it is something else that maybe it's mac or web okay by checking ttl we will find what operating system of this is running okay i'll clear the command sorry let's clear it then so before getting to before exploiting this before exploiting this i should tell you one thing that you should know and map metasploit framework and verb shoot you you should know how to use this tools and you should you should be very comfortable on linux commands and networking concepts okay that will that is the first step of every hacker should know okay so i'll run an nmap command dash p n dash p dash dash s s v s v then i p okay so then we so nmap is a network port scanning tool okay so you can 
no you can learn you can know about nmap by this by just simply doing man simply doing man and map you will get an entire manual of nmap okay so here is each and every flags uses written on there every entire everything same same for msf console you can just use msf console and will get everything okay you can learn from this also i usually do this whenever i get new whenever i use new tool first i do man i study the entire thing about the tools then i use it okay then just do this let me save and and file like i just save this mt mt meta s p l y t a p l is for lightable tool and map and map and map scan dot txt so it is discovering all the open ports you can see okay just wait for a while so it will show me the all the open ports services running all that open ports and with versions okay let wait for a while so the scan is going on let me tell you something that for learning cyber security i i am a student i am a btech student where, from where i learn is this i use try hack me to learn the skills related to cyber security so this is my account you can check it you can just simply search this yeah i'll change the account name i'll just change to trx trex okay so you can search me on there in try at me this is my account i just probably doing this i was having a premium membership but it get expired you can use try hack me to learn the basic concept and you can solve the ctf and other another one is hack the box okay hack the box hack the box hack the box you can this is also this very good platform for learning cyber security and there are lots of platforms you can read blog post it you can read blogs you can there are lots of things you can can learn from where you can learn cyber security yep so let me just just wait for a while for the scan it's going on okay hmm. Hmm. The scan is going. Let, let me show what kind of result it will show me. Okay, so I usually scan. Uh, yep, yeah. think this one. Yeah, meta two. This this kind of result it will show us. This kind of result like open ports, then version. Okay, this around this we will we will do exploitation by using this this is a vulnerable version of v vsftpd okay so you can exploit by using open ssh linux telnet port fix smtpd is you can exploit the meta exploitable to i think 27 different ways Let's see, look at this. This is my scan result. This is how the scan output will show you. Okay, so I got this. Second thing, after getting this, all these things, all this is information. You can just to browse everything, or just simply in a very easy way, you can just search, search, exploit. Exploit. exploit and just copy this just copy this space right here you will get it is available on metasploit 
search exploit is nothing but it will search the exploit for this version okay if it is available then it will show or if it is not available it will not okay like this is available on meta exploitable and this is available you can just download uh, exploit from a google and you can do like this you can just use python file also like if you search this in google you will get the same python file yeah. like if i search it in google so this is the rapid 7 tab door. yeah this this is the this is the Exploit DB, it is a Google's expert database where all the exploits are listed. You will get my network is kind of slow because heavy rain is going outside. That's why. So let's get into it. Get into a get into a hacking. Okay. So we will do MSF console and that's there. So console, okay. What is MSF code? It is a meta exploitable framework which used to exploit the, the which is used to exploit the system. Uh, we can perform lots of attacks. We can perform lot. They, we can perform lots of. There are there are lots of attacks, lots of exploit, lots of payloads are there. This is a very good framework, and I like this. I really like this method, but it looks like you are trying to run. So we will do search thing here, and it will take time because the net is slow. What happened to my? Yeah, this is my MSF Meta Exploitable console. It's not showing me. Wait for a while. Show us, show us, I show us. No problem. But yeah. Okay. I'll do it. Yeah. Here. The here we got the information. We got the result. Like hash means ID name. This is the name of exploit. We can use hash or we can use entire name of the exploit. Like we use 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 zero. So no payload configure default payload as this payload used to act like a bridge between the attackers machine to victim machine okay so we will do options so here we need to give our host our host means remote host remote host means victim machines ip so set our hosts 192.168.168. What is the victim machine's IP? Just forgot the victim machine's IP. So simply I'll do net discovery. Then net discovery. You show me the victim machine's IP. So here is the victim machine's IP. Oh, sorry. Simply we'll just paste the IP. What? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Here is the this. Then again, we will check by using options. You can use so options or options. Okay. This team machine IP set. R post. That means remote post. Remote post port. 
our port means remote post target port is 21 because we are targeting 21 which is vs ftpd it is okay then we will do run and we will get the root uid pound shell we get the shell wait for a while hmm. command shell session one open from arkali to this we get it so if you will do pwd we are in the root if okay. the root we will do ls dot al if you do al we will get entire file system of our metasploitable to remotely so this is how you can exploit metasploitable to by just by using nmap and metasploitable framework okay so i hope you all like the video don't forget to hit like share and subscribe till then keep learning keep exploring